Starbucks is frazzling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the, you know, the support. Just being able to know that you we are all on this journey and it's just amazing how we can all like resonate with each other's trials and tribulations as we're really trying to step up and go on to the next level of greatness so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already ooh, this hair on face um uh, if you have not um like and subscribe please subscribe hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me um even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also um if you are you know if the video's giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times right now please uh go ahead and share you know especially if they're trying to find out their sole purpose or even their true path and also give me a thumbs up like and also share on their social media uh, social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support that you've been constantly giving me is truly god sent and it's truly a blessing to be able to be in your life as you're in mine and i love you from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today this goes fit with the uh content i'm about to do it's called wipe out subconscious negativity release unconscious bad energy attract positive energy we all need that in our lives because it seems like we attract all type of energy coming back and forth and my video today is about twin flame 101 hey Opus, depression and anxiety is only a distraction that the devil tries to place you in in hopes to steer you off your path he does it's just like you know bills piling up your car might break down so it makes you snap you know you're getting your children are you're like working your last nerve and everybody's bickering you know your job can't be stressed out about your job and it just seems like negativity keeps constantly constantly coming at you because it's like you can have one day basically patting yourself on the back because there's a lot of things you're finding out about yourself you know you're indulging in it you you're educating yourself on it you know you're you're spreading out kindness love all these different things and it's like you know there are certain things that you're trying to get it established for yourself you know you might be trying to get your own business or you're trying to you know get this uh raise at your other job or you know you're probably filling out you know applications for a job that actually fits up with your gift you know that's a beautiful blessing when you can actually get a job that actually fits the things that you're spiritually and you know in tune to but it's just like the devil like i told y'all before devil and god is like playing this this kind of tetherball situation and it's like he already knows god's gonna win no matter what god's win the love is gonna prevail regardless but the devil likes to play these little games with you and you know god on some side <laughs> on sidelines be throwing these little dark humors in there you know it's just like oh you wake up in the morning and just be like yes you know i'm not gonna let nothing get to me today today is gonna be a good day Bloop! something gonna pop out you know somebody done ran right in front of you almost side swiped them or you know hit bumped them in, in the back of your uh back of the car or you're on your way to work and there's somebody going real slow and in the fast lane going real slow it's always going to be something but do not allow the devil to distract you to take you take you off your path because he'll try to do that because he sees all the blessings that you're about to be you know blessed with you know the things that you're getting to but sometimes when things are placed in our way we kind of lose sight of the things we're supposed to stay focused on trust me i know you know, there's many a days, you know, you probably cry and just say, you know, why am I constantly get keep going through this? Can I at least get a break? You know, you're going through things time after time after time. But like I said, be patient with yourself. Be gentle. Because all it is is d distraction. My mom always used to say when stuff like this happened, girl, the devil busy. The girl, the devil busy. <laughs> and he is. He will try to stay busy. But in, a, in the other hand, don't give himself the stuff to be busy for. 
You know, and there's a lot of times I got to say that because there'll be, you know, if you're dealing with somebody narcissistic, they'll come, you know, trying to pop off their daggone mouth beaters or whatever you want to call them, you know, just to try to see if they can trigger you. You know, if they, especially if they know you like the back of your hand, they'll keep on trying to throw, throw you a bone to see if they can snatch it right back to see how they're going to do you. You know, people, you know, insecure people tend to uh, want to, you know, keep constantly because you know if you you scr struggle to look at yourself every day and you don't like yourself you you know you in a bad mood just because you might have did this or did that so you try to throw something else on somebody you know to try to make them insecure about themselves it, it's sad when people do that but there is people out there like that you know and it's just like you know i've had people like that you know family that's like that and i'm just like dang are you that much shallow? Because, you know, I can't stand it when somebody, oh, I got this and this and this and that. I, you know, and I have to be able to tell people this. You know, it's a blessing to be able to have the things, but it's just like, why are you, you know, like flaunting it in front of their face? Like, you want them to be jealous of you. And that's, you know, that's how certain family members of mine are. You know, want people to be jealous of them. And then it's just like, I said, those are materialistic things. I said, why would you brag about the things that you got because this other person don't have it knowing if god was to bless you with them things what makes you think that he won't unbless you with them and people fail to realize that so you have to be you know stay focused on your things you know people might piss you off people want to act stupid and ignorant a lot of them to act stupid and ignorant you just keep doing you you know even though it might be hard at times trust i have to tell myself that all the time allow them to be acting stupid is they just don't know people forget what you live by is what you die by <laughs> so i want to make sure i'm doing good i want to make sure i'm doing you know i'm on a good you know on a good ship lollipop i want to be up you know being able to do that because don't allow the people and their negative influences or they even their negative behavior be able to throw stuff at you i, I mean i've had people try to do stuff like that to me and it, it's just like i say you really pressing your insecurities on me please stop doing that and they get mad when i call them out on it i'm like oh, okay <laughs> you i mean you're insecure about certain things i said i got my insecurities too but i'm not gonna allow i'm not gonna do stuff like that I, you know i try to treat people how i want to be treated because if i know if i don't want somebody coming at me like that i wouldn't do that to them so it's just a lot of times you gotta allow people to fall on their face sometimes it's just like you know when you try to help people out you know and then you constantly trying to tell them hey you know this is a train wreck ready to happen hey this is a train wreck ready to happen you know, and you're constantly getting yourself into stuff. Sometimes you got to allow people, you got to step back and allow people to, you know, make their mistakes. You can't keep bailing them out and all that. Because, I mean, that can be stressful enough as it is. Because with us being empaths, we always feel like we're trying to save the world. You know, there's a lot of times you can't do that. You know, if you're trying to send somebody a message and they're not hearing it. Not everybody's ready to receive that message that you have to say. You know, if they, you telling them, be like, oh, okay, this and this now. As soon as I said that, my phone light up, big as day. <laughs> but it's just like all these different things you're going through. You know, when it's depression, stress, anxiety, you know, crying spells. It's just like right now we're going through so many different shifts. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you have cops. <laughs> you know, be just ready to snap. You know, and I even tell my daughter that, don't mind me. You know, because she was like, mom, I see you, you know, you're you know, you're in, you're in your feelings today. I'm like, yeah, I ain't, you know, ain't got nothing to do with you. And I try not to project it on somebody, especially if I know I'm feeling some type of way. You know, like I tell y'all, if I'm feeling some type of way, I don't want to do any videos. I just don't like that kind of vibe coming off on everybody because I know what it feels like to, for people to come at you when they got something else going on with them and they want to, oh, let, let me allow this, let me um, dump this on them. Don't do that. But allow yourself, if you got to meditate, do things that you know that you enjoy. Like with me, I love making my videos. You know, there's a lot of people that tend to resonate with the issues that I'm having. You know, I, I deal with stuff like that. I deal with anxiety a lot. I deal with depression a lot. You know, if anybody knows the issues that I have and the things that I'm dealing with, because I know a lot of y'all are new subbies, so you won't really know everything I've been through. You, you would know. You know, this is like a blessing to me. To be able to open my life up and allow you know because i you know i want to heal desperately in so many different ways but allow you know myself to let go of things you know allow things to unfold for me because it's just like you you're, you're playing this game of chess and you about to checkmate the hell out the ass 
Go ahead and allow yourself to checkmate. And, but you just got to be, you have, you, you have, if you, anybody ever played checkers or chess, you know there's if there's a right and a wrong time. And as soon as I said that, my phone just started <laughs> lightening up. You probably see that light coming off my face. You have to be able to be that chess, chess piece. Allow yourself to be able to jump all those different spaces and, and snatch all them daggone things up. But you have to be you have to be able to strike when God asks you to strike. Don't do it too fast because then you end up messing yourself up. But you know, things will happen in your life that the devil will constantly try to shake up your blessings because he don't want you to have them. So he sends his little damn minions <laughs> with them negative folks that want to stay try to make you mad or bring you down allow them to do that on their own tell them don't play with you play with themselves they'll get a better reaction and then you go keep doing you but do things that uplift you you know like me i love to listen to music i love to sing i love to go on my nature walks you know, it's been so hot where I live at. It's hard to actually do it unless it's at nighttime. And around the time I can actually go, this will be the time I got to go pick up my daughter. So it's just like every every once in a while I'm able to go outside because it's like when I want to, it's just so stifling hot out there. I feel bad for the animals that are out there. But, you know, do things that uplift you. Do things that won't run your blood pressure up because you don't even know high blood pressure, you know. All the daggone stress you have end up giving you a stroke. But it's just like do things that uplift you. If it's not volunteering somewhere, whatever, you know, do things that you enjoy. You know, uh, take time to yourself. Seek solitude. You know, meditate. You know, I try to meditate as much as I can. You know, probably a little bit more. I need to go ahead and do it a little bit more often as well. You know, not just when I'm doing my videos, but, you know, do it when I'm you know not doing anything because we need to un unleash all that release not unleash but release that you know the negative vibes that people can press towards you because you know with us being a um, empaths especially Hayokas as well you know we tend to gravitate people especially with issues a lot of issues tend to gravitate towards us you know in many different ways and i'm glad you know it's, it's both it, you know everything needs balance i'm blessed to be able to have the ones that say that my videos are therapeutic they're allowing my videos to help them to allow them to see the strength within themselves it's, sometimes it's hard to see you know if you're going through some really trying times and i understand that i get that but you have to be taking time out for yourself and say when is it time for me to be happy you know the present time is now you know, I have to tell myself that all the time. It's time for you to be happy. You deserve that. No matter what people say to think that you might deserve, to hell with them. If people love you, they're going to want to see you do good. They want to see you rise up. A lot of people don't like to do that because they can't see their dreams within themselves. And they quit too fast before they, you know, didn't even know they were this close to their blessings and turned around because it got too hard. The heat got too hot in the kitchen. But you keep pressing on. You keep doing the things that you need to do because you know you have beautiful blessings coming towards you. You are, you should be happy. You should be loved. You know, if you're in toxic relationships, allow yourself to part ways and cut cords with those people. Because it was just like, you, you, you know, there was people posting up things, these certain pictures, and it's like, what do you see? You know, you see a man crying right here, and you see a woman kissing another guy. They were like, what do you see? And I was just like, wow. Basically, that man <laughs> didn't appreciate this woman. Thought that, you know, she wasn't going to never leave. She was never going to walk off. And she finally found a love of her life that appreciated her. Just like if you see a man or a woman, you know, is calling him weak. Calling him this, calling him that. And don't realize this man is just more in touch with his feelings. You know, he tries to seek out people that would be in touch with their feelings as well. You know, it's just not women. I mean, men that are narcissistic or, you know, men that carry that toxic trait in a bad relationship that they messed up. It's women as well, because I've seen women like that. They were selfish. They were like, oh, I would never sit up here. You know, they could have children. And they already had, you know, children. They were like, they, they got into a marriage or whatever. Oh, I don't want no more children. You know, I can see if it was like a marriage that you got into 
and it was toxic or whatever I understand that but if you got a man that loves you or you got a woman that loves you and they want children with you that that's 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 intimacy that's love you know they want to procreate with you you know and you don't want to do it because you already got your kids out of school or whatever and you're trying to do this and this and that and this person has never been able to establish being able to have a child that, I mean, that's being selfish, you know, and it's just like women like that. that some women <laughs> beg to have men like that that's willing to be loving and be that hopeless romantic. And they can't they can't do it because this person is thinking about me, 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 me. And you got men to do the same things. Think about me, 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 thinking them women going to be here all the time. And then when they finally end up finding that that good man. They appreciates everything that uh, and loves them and worships them like the sun sets and rise on their ass. And the same thing with that man is going to find that woman. They ain't going to do nothing but cry because they always thought that person was going to be there. So you allow yourself to cut cords with these to toxic relationships or even toxic marriages. If you see that you're not happy, nothing is more important to you than being happy. You know, you should be happy if that person can't appreciate you for who you are go <laughs> go if you can get your butt on and run for us run and i will see you on my next video because it's already 16 minutes much love peace and be wild